Hello and welcome to Platform Studio. Today we will talk about and explore the new D5 Render Update 2.4. I have been experimenting with it and the results are very good. Uh, they have updated their render engine, GI and many other things I will show you later. And if you do your modeling in 3ds Max, I, I will show you how to render it in D5 uh, easily. The results I have got here are amazing and the renders are almost as good as V-Ray. So you are getting an almost uh, V-Ray quality render with less time and uh, with many many free materials, free 3D models, accessories and also don't forget it has the capability of uh, doing professional quality animation 90 percent of my viewers of this channel uh, are not subscribed to this channel so uh, if you subscribe it will be very very helpful and thank you guys for supporting me all these years so please subscribe okay let's start so i have a 3d model in 3ds max here as usual so it's a model of an interior scene I have a camera fixed. I want to render this scene in uh, D5 Blender. To download D5 Blender, go to Google and search D5 Blender. If you just search it, the first thing, the first uh, thing will come the original D5 Blender website. Click it, and here you are, uh, D5 Real Time Rendering and you can try d5 for free you can download it it's not uh, very big the file is not very big and here you can explore the new features new uh, new features in version 2.4 you can here view the updates here we can see new d5 gi and many many other updates they have in new uh, d5 2.4 you can uh, check it out the new updates also you can watch this video to understand the major updates as you can see here the new d5 gi engine is capable of illuminating an interior scene excellently without any artificial light here you can see the before and after the previous version and the new version the interior illumination is amazing also it has new subsurface scattering materials so that the uh, opaque uh, models or opaque materials like fruits leaves uh, these kind of things will look much much better in the new version as you can see here uh, the light scattering is very good also the uh, emissive effect the light emission is is uh, like very updated and the new version also have hedges and uh, many 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 new plans and also it can save group assets locally so if you make a group of assets you can save it locally so and you can access it, it later without you, even the uh, internet connection or without even downloading so that's a new feature the new version also has optimized path tool so when you are animating a city or cityscape the cars will move uh, more organically and the animation is more refined also here you can see the use of z-depth which is a feature that uh, the new update version has so it can create uh, depth of fog and blurring and uh, give give the scene the exterior scene a very realistic effect also so also the asset library is updated you can get more uh, asset materials 3d models etc in the new version of 2.4 and also here they have the converters uh, for they have converters for 3ds max sketchup rhino archicad revit all the major modeling softwares so i will download d5 converter for 3ds max i have d5 installed in my computer but i don't have this converter so i am downloading this converter is a very small file i have to extract it and then install it make sure you check the you have uh, the right version for your 3ds max 
so here i have installed the converter d uh, 3ds max to d5 converter so now i have to restart the 3ds max file if i restart the file the convert option will show up if you look at the right top corner you will see a bar uh, this is the export bar the uh, 3ds max to d5 bar so now go to d5 open d5 and here you can see uh, they have uh, demo scenes you can explore experiment with and i am uh, logged in oh another thing let me pause here uh, d5 is offering five days five days of uh, pro version you can try pro version for five days if you just log in you don't have to put your credit card or anything you don't have to do anything here i'm using the uh, five days free uh, complete pro version so let's create a new file so here uh, we have a new file uh, it's empty and you can explore the beginner's guide i will skip this as i used this software before so here the file is empty now i will go to 3ds max and i will click on this button this is the uh, export button and now i will select the new and improved method new the improved method of 2.4 uh, the new method is very quick much much quicker than the previous version as you can see it's already the model is already here in th in d5 render so here we have the model at first i like to do is click on the camera and on the display i will i like to choose the fly version so that i can control it like a video game with uh, w a s and d w a s and d so now i am creating a scene new scene i always like to create a new scene first uh, just like in uh, vray 3ds max render i always like to put the camera first let's go to uh, preview quality here you have two qualities precise and smooth precise you will get uh, a good quality preview and if you don't have a very powerful gpu you can uh, select smooth quality uh, so now let's go to assets and material first i will select floor floor material wood floor so i will select a uh, wood floor which goes with this uh, with this interior I'll, I'll select this one and i'll put this one and so here it is it's easy i think i need to scale it down the texture uh, yeah this scaling looks good now again go to asset material and for wall i will select this one antique brick with tiles i think tile like thing this one let's see how it looks oh nice Lo looks like concrete uh, tiles or it has a uh, good texture so again i will adjust the scale uh, i will adjust the scale uh, 1.5 i think uh, is a good yeah like that and you can also try the offset option you can adjust the positioning of the texture we offset so here the wall is done the floor is done now there is a kitchen cabinet here a kitchen counter here for that counter i will i will select some kind of generic like wood this one looks good dark brown oak this one also looks good so i will i think i'll choose this one and just 
click and here the material is done now again the scale is not correct i have to adjust the scale so it looks uh, more more natural now then for the window frame i want something black to uh, have a contrast with the white wall uh, carbon black wood maybe yeah looks nice so you can see it's easy there you have many many materials in pro version and again a reminder you are getting a uh, five days free pro version if you just log in and i'm speeding up the process as you already know how to put materials here so i'm fast forwarding from this moment and i'm applying material to uh, every part of the model so i'm done applying materials right now here then again i have to put some assets some accessories or models i want to put a dining table here so go to model so go to model and furnitures furniture table here you can see lots and lots of tables different designs different materials but these tables are small i want something big like like a dining table uh, I think uh, it I think uh, let's go to tables there is a table and tables I think here I can find yeah yeah large dining tables here these are these are bigger tables so I will download this one If you download something once it will be stored in your uh, local library so i'll select this one and i'll put it on the floor here and you can rotate it by uh, putting 90 degrees on the z axis it will get rotated or you can rotate it with the gimbal that comes uh, like uh, the the arrows that I don't remember so now let's uh, search for some chairs I will just search it dining here search dining chair um, Lots of chairs. I want something dark. This one looks nice. Nice and dark. So I will select this and put this on the floor. So now I will uh, go. I will uh, go closer to the chair. And here I, I will copy the chair by pressing the shift button and dragging it with the, uh, with the arrows with any any of the arrows uh, you can just press the shift and drag it with the arrow and it will get copied it will make a copy of itself so again i will do the same i will make another copy oops it's it has gone far So here also you can change the location or position of a model by uh, changing the X Y and Z location so here three chairs they're done and another thing I will do is
I will select all the three chairs and it will like it will select like a group and I will copy all three of them and then in the z-axis I will put zero uh, or maybe 270 to rotate them backwards if there's uh, all selected all of them will rotate at the same time so here our dining tables are done chairs are done so I will copy another chair here and again I will 180 here so our uh, dining table and chair is done let's do other things at first let's see how it looks in the in the scene in the camera view looks fine so again I'm going to asset and then going to model and I will go to chairs and I like to put some high chairs or bar chairs in front of the kitchen counter in front of the kitchen counter so I'm looking for high chairs here I think they have high chairs I, I saw it earlier there there's a, there's a simple one I think I saw yeah this one this one looks nice so I'll, I'll just download it and put it here as a high chair in front of the counter um, you can experiment with it you can put any kind of high chair there I think as you can see there are many many kinds of chairs here you can choose whatever you want then in the accessories I will uh, go to ornaments accessories and ornaments I will put some ornaments on the countertop or and here there is a little shelf here I will put this one on countertop and mm, there are so many this one is nice I'll put this on the shelf here so you get the idea you put your ornaments here uh, whatever you like whatever you want the scene to be so I will be fast forwarding from this moment I will I will be putting uh, ornaments, spotted greeneries, plants, all kind of things here so again I have made two other videos about D5 so you know how to put uh, you should know how to put uh, models in the scene it's really easy just select it and put it on the model so I'm fast forwarding here the usability of d5 render is uh, I think it's very uh, user friendly I think it's better than uh, like I already told that it's better than Lumion I think it's better than Lumion the uh, UI UI UX design and I don't know what to say it's, it's really good the new new uh, 2.4 update uh, has some new uh, render engines and the renders look good really good like V-Ray quality good so I have put many 3d models in the scene 
now let's go to the scene one and let's go to hdri so let me select midday maybe this hdri or clear sky for interior scene i will i will select clear sky because it's interior scene we need sunlight uh, uh, and clear sky is my option so i have selected clear sky and i can rotate the sky i can rotate the sun position here you can see but uh, another thing if you don't want sunlight or uh, in your scene so you can leave it like that but if you want sunlight in your scene then you can check the sun option that's a new feature it's uh, it was not uh, in the previous version also here you can see that there is an option follow hdri so your sun will follow the hdri map sun so i think it's a very very good option and uh, very useful option in vray you have to like sometimes align the uh, the like hdri map and the sun manually and is very tedious and very it takes a long long time but here you can just check this option like follow hdri and your sun will follow follow the hdri map so so now you can see sunlight is coming into the scene as we turned the sun one i like that i like a little sunlight into the scene but here the intensity of sunlight is overpowering so i will decrease the intensity into zero and exposure i will uh, i will uh, i will unselect the auto exposure and uh, do it manually i think this exposure looks good yeah this one not overexposed the sunlight is not uh, super overexposing anything white balance you can go towards a little yellowish or uh, kind of uh, warm or cold white balance and you can choose the ratio aspect ratio of uh, what you want uh, what aspect ratio you, you want your render output I'm adjusting the view a little bit and I'm increasing the resolution and I'll press render I'll rename it and render so after a while this was, this, this was the result I think it's, uh, it's, it looks very good uh, it didn't take a lot of time if you take a lot of time you can achieve like a very very good quality render i think so my suggestion will be take your time try it try the d5 render five days for free sign in login and if you like it then you can buy it it's really cheap it's cheaper than lumion vira and other uh, any other other softwares and also the the converter the d5 to 3d space converter works really smoothly so this was my video again please do subscribe 90 percent of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel so kind of makes me sad sometimes please do subscribe if you like this video and i will see you in the next video bye bye